Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a brand new floor plan from Tiffin's Diesel lineup. This is the 2021 Tiffin Allegro Red 340 model 38LL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited that we are taking a look at this brand new floor plan from Tiffin. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. We're still here in Richmond. Uh, we are about to do a new Tiffin floor plan, and I have not seen it yet, so I'm super excited. Great. Let's begin. The model is 38LL, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 39 feet 6 inches. This is the Tiffin Allegro Red 340. It is their entry level diesel pusher. Kind of. Some people would consider the Allegro Breeze their entry level, but that's kind of its own special product. This is its entry level true diesel pusher. I absolutely love it up front. We do have a Onan 8000 diesel generator up front. And just look at the design. Even though this is considered entry level, it's still a Tiffin, so it's still super beautiful and nice, and I love the headlight design. I think the paint job looks great. It does. The, the paint job is beautiful. Right up here, we do have chrome mirrors with cameras integrated in your left blinker, right blinker, and reverse. This is powered. It does have the Cummins ISL or ISB 6.7 liter with a 340 horsepower engine. Up front here, we do have a bus style door. Tiffin Motorhomes, roughing it smoothly. I love it. I like the uh, embroidery right there. And right there, we do have a doggy window. Right here, look, Andre, it's the Michelin tires. 255-80R22.5. Nice big tires with the AccuRide rim. And right up there, we do have nice Gerard armless awnings with LED lights. Coming down the side here is your propane tank and a little bit of storage. Andrea, we will have all the propane tank sizes, lengths with everything about this motorhome down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. We do have an exterior TV right here more storage oh wow. wow now this is on a straight rail chassis it's a power glide chassis made by tiffin and the reason why it's called a raised rail or a straight rail is because that rail right there is obstructing and uh that's how you're able to get it like that oh dirt devil you got a central vac dirt devil centralized vacuum yes ma'am and then he and right here's where you fill up your potable water potable 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 all right, finishing up. Just a tiny bit more storage here. Here's your batteries, chassis disconnect and everything. Your Truma hot, instant hot tankless water heater. Very nice. And then right here, we got a little bit more storage right there. Coming around the back, we have a nice rear fiberglass cap. 5,000 pound hitch, Andrea. This, even though it's a diesel motorhome, it can only tow 5,000 pounds. You do have a backup camera right there. Also, you have a ladder to get up on the one-piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Hold on. Here we go now. All right, as you can see, it does have a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. The lower profile air conditioning units at that. That is called a triple vision. That must be your digital antenna. And then right there, I believe, this is, oh, that's where you're awning. Okay, so no solar on the roof. Take your time. Here we go now. Okay, one more. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesman school takes fat ass up on the roof. 
show you what Features Roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, Andrea, with the driver's side. We do have your 50 amp power cord cable, surge guard protector and everything. No power cord reel, but at least they give you an area to store it at. More storage. Here's where you fill up your DEF. I love, oh, we didn't even comment on these slam latch doors. Wow, beautiful wet bay right there. That is how it's done. And again, look at these nice aluminum slam latch doors. Very nice. More storage right there. The other side of the storage right here. Spare tiles in case you ever get any breaks. And then we got some batteries right there. Check out those batteries, Andrea. See that? Napa know-how. Haven't seen a Napa in a while. Yep. And then here's where you fill up your fuel. Okay. Right there and on the other... Or was there one on the other side? I don't think I saw one. Then oh. here's just your fuses and everything. Well, Drea, the outside of this Allegro Red looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Yep, fuel fill up just in that one side. Cargo carrying capacity is. Oh, wow. 2,989 pounds. Wow. Okay, so slide is in. And look at this walkway. Wow, plenty of space to get through. Here is the half bath and the master bedroom. You can still access the bed when boondocking. Wow. Well, Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, I have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could please leave down in the comments below, let us know three things you love about this Tiffin Allegro Red 340, and let us know three things you don't like about it. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our videos too. And we thank you guys. We thank each and every one of us. Notice how the slide out button right here is mm -hmm. on the chair. That's pretty neat. Yep. Wow, that's a lot of cabinets above there. Sure is. I guess because there's no bunk. Great. Let's begin. Up front here, you can see that we do have a nice Freightliner chassis, right? <sighs> Custom Freightliner chassis. Okay, so that's weird. So I think I said on the outside, Andre, this was a power bridge or a power glide chassis. Mm -hmm. It's not a ch power glide, it's a Freightliner chassis. My mistake, straight rail chassis, regardless, really nice, adjustable steering wheel. You got all your button controls right here and everything. And Andre, why don't you sit in my co-captain seat? Okay. And then look at that. We can see the rear to the left and to the right and everything. Oh, this is really comfortable isn't it oh my gosh that's guys. a nice seat fully these, powered and these both swivel yep they wow. both swivel to come part of the living area there's a cup holder over here uh -huh. and usbs and uh there is a piece that goes over the stairwell you guys very nice now there is no bunk over the cab but we still have storage above if you want to check that out andrea oh oh very nice Okay. Very nice. And then we got a little bit of more storage there. Wow. More storage there. That's a lot of storage. Very nice cabinetry from Tiffin. I want to point out the screen door real quick, Matt. Uh huh. I really like that screen door. You see that? Oh, yeah. Very nice. It's just different from all the other doors. Yep. And then over here in the living area, Oh, we have your dinette and then check out this dinette solid surface countertop in the dinette throughout the whole motorhome very nice comfortable seats light furniture which really opens it up in here and again look what they did right here with a little backrest this literally would be my spot in the rv i'd be chilling hanging out like this on the computer and then we do have your daytime shades 
and privacy shades. Very nice. I think there's storage under there too. Yes. Let me check. I think you have to pull it from the bottom. There you go. And it's on the other side as well. And this does convert to a bed as well. Yes. Nice. More storage right there. Okay. Interesting balances. Interesting good or interesting bad or interesting interesting. interesting. Bing. Light scotch. Scotch. Got a USB. Uh-huh. And then over here in the living room, there's something I've never seen, Andrea. Two, two sofas kind of next to each other. So it appears that this is theater seats. We do need to have the inverter on. But these two recline and this one doesn't. I'm wondering. Oh. Uh, this one makes a tri-full set. Okay, that's awesome. Well, let's check it out. I've never seen one like this, have you? No, it looks really comfortable oh, though. Oh my God, did you see that? Yeah, it did it itself. Sit on it or lay on it for a second. Let me know, is it comfy? Oh yeah. It looks comfortable. It actually is comfortable. Now hang on a second. And it goes up, yeah, wow. Wow. That's awesome. That is so cool. I've never seen a sofa do that. Now, if it could only take off the cushions by itself, that'd be even cooler. You got a cup holder there. You got plenty of cabinetry above. Hidden hinge cabinetry. You know, Tiffin, Tiffin does it very, very well. And they, they put some pictures in here. Yeah, nice artwork there. And Andrea, look at this. Uh, Art Deco. No. Oh. Well, what I do like is across from the sofa here, is your television i love that lg tv you have your fury on fireplace and sound bar and then right up here is a little bit more storage very nice well andrea it's now time for the msrp <laughs> msrp on this motorhome here is not bad at all for the msrp two hundred and sixty four thousand six hundred and sixty one dollars that is msrp folks sale price as you do not see right here we are not allowed to advertise current model year sale prices for any tiffins but andrea if you're interested in buying this motorhome we can get you the best price in america tell everybody what to do you can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or go to my website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me tab on the website. Andrea, oh, no. You contact me. I will get you in contact with somebody from my team to help you get what, Andrea? The best price in the country. Burr, 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 burr. Wonderful. Andrea, let's continue the video. Yes, everybody, they will give you the mat price. Oh, yeah. All right, so here's the kitchen. Look at that. Wow. That's big. It is big. This a, is a big old kitchen. Adjustable shelves. Uh huh. Look at the, I love the panoramic window. Yes. And they did give you some shades here. Okay, we got the privacy shade. Uh, interesting that the backsplash is so underneath. low yeah underneath solid yeah. surface countertop we have four drawers oh that's cute uh-huh for your utensils already built in now the cabinetry you guys feels really good quality um andrea yes hold this real quick womp womp. stay to the end of the video so you just so you'll find out what i just want mom oh okay and we have a rectangle sink here. Very nice. Uh-huh. Got an extension. Yes, ma'am. And cabinet under. Great space. And oh, you get a trash can. That's an $83 trash can. Wow. The way they've been giving out trash cans lately, they must be doing well. We need industry. to be in the trash can business. We got cabinets above. Uh-huh. And we have a convection whirlpool microwave. Very nice. Very, Very nice. nice. And let's see, we I think it's a three burner cooktop. Yes. Heavy. These things are heavy. They are. Very nice. Okay. No oven, and I don't have a problem with that. 
nice storage space. Uh, let's see, we got a cabinet up here. I like that there's adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. And we got four drawers. Oh, very hey, nice. Matt, is that, oh yeah, that's like the control yeah, panel. You control everything. Yep, okay. the lights and the slide outs and everything. All right, and so we have a residential refrigerator here, guys. Very nice this size. LG. Wow. Look at that. Andrea, are we in an RV? <laughs> that is crazy. I know. It is crazy, isn't it? I like the look of it, though. And then we got the double pantry here. Very nice. So this one pulls out, and then this one has the adjustable shelves in it. Yes. Pretty cool. And then right there is where your Dirt Devil centralized vacuum is. Awesome. Cool. And then this is a bath and a half, Andrea. So that means it's time for the toilet test. And look at that. Caddy corner. Well, would you look at that? Very nice. I've been saying it for a while now. Madison cabinet right there. You got your sink, towel holder, and a little bit of storage underneath. I like there's a window in here. Nice window and mirror. And then look at this. Caddy cornered right here. I've always said it. So many times they'll put the sink right here and the toilet in the corner. Andrea, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! I keep saying it. Oh, and it's porcelain. Um, this is just where they need to put half baths, right here. Very good and nice. Let's check out the bathroom or the bedroom. Ooh. Inside the master bedroom, this is a queen bed right here. Pocket door. Uh-huh. Why don't you go up there? I don't there think and... that's a queen. I think that's a king. Is it a king? Yeah, that's a king. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you climb up there and <laughs> check the storage? Okay. Wow, Great look how guys. deep that is. Look at these lights over here. Cool. Oh, Look very at that. nice. And you got lights here too. Very fancy. Fancy, yeah. Fancy, fancy. I like the headboard there. I like that they give you the little bit of a nightstand here. And yep. if I can see this, there is a little cabinet underneath. USB. Yep. In the side windows and everything. Yes. And then across, we have big wardrobe space here. Six drawers wow, underneath. Wow, look at those. Another Other big side. wardrobe. And then check out these drawers. That's good size. Very nice. And then is there storage behind this TV? Yeah. Wow. There sure is. Oh, look, it's all lit up and everything. Look, it's the Wally from Dish Network. It's the Hopper. <laughs> Great. Oh, look, they gave you another picture over there. Wow. Double deco. No. All right. Let's see if there's any. Okay. Is there there's storage? storage under there. Oh, nice. Wow. That is great. Very nice. I was not expecting that much. Oh yeah. Pocket and then, door here. Holy smokes. Look wow, at how this nice is this great. bathroom is. A one piece fiberglass shower here. You know. I like that it has a seat in it. Believe it or not, it is a little bit on the smaller side for how big this bathroom is, but it's still nice. I like the glass door. I like how there's a seat in it and everything. Andrea, why don't you show everybody this? We have the medicine cabinet. Uh-huh. And look, you got some Look at this. This is awesome. That is very cool. I like that. I like that you have counter space in here, more cabinetry, and two drawers. Very nice. And Matt, right next to the shower is another cabinet for linens. Look at that. Adjustable shelves. You can even hang stuff. And then we got drawers and then right you there. Got three drawers down there. Yes. That's great. Right here is an engine uh, compartment access. And I'll show you, you know what this is? Yes. Prep for a stackable washer and dryer. Prep for it, yes. So if you don't need it, you don't need it. And if you do need it, then you got it. And okay. on this right here, we have an electric toilet. Porcelain. Yes, Andrea. Double prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice, really nice layout. Very smart layout on how they designed this. It's definitely spacious. It is. And as spacious as it is, Andrea, and as nice as it is, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we like about it. Okay. I'm going to go first. I love these sofas here. I love how you get the theater seats. I love how you get the trifold sofa. And I love how all four seats are directly across at the television. 
a lot of times when you're in this floor plan they'll put them up there with the one sofa and the one sofa and it's across this they put them all next to each other and that way you're able to get the fireplace and everything so that's one two I know it's silly, but I really like the style refrigerator. No, it's I'm, I'm gonna combo it and I, say the whole damn kitchen. It looks sleek and modern. Yes. I really like it. Very nice, and it's a really big fridge. Yeah. Also, how much countertop space you get in here is really, really nice. So that's two, and then three. I'll say the cabinet, the storage in here is unbelievable. The storage I mean, is fantastic. All around. You can tell the quality yes. of the cabinetries. You can feel it when you open it. And how much storage is here, it's just unbel it's unbelievably unbelievable. It is. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motorhome. Bum bum bum. Ready for me to go first? Sure. Okay, let's come back over here, folks. Andrea. I remember what was you going on. You said something comes out. Normally, you're right. Yes, 99% of the time, you're right. Look at this. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, that's how they're doing it now on this. Maybe because it's an just, entry? Just, just because of keep the price. Oh. Oh, look, look. Womp, wow. womp. Womp, womp. I hate that. Look, that's well, just that's so stupid. That's not sturdy at all. Nope, it's not sturdy. Right now it's stuck. So it's got to fit inside the lip there. Great, and you drop it in, then you're done. Oh no. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All there right, go. there you go. Uh oh. Dang name it. Maybe it doesn't fit it. Okay. No, that's how you're supposed okay, to do so it. Okay, so let me see. No, do not step on it. Yeah, I just want to. I okay, just want try, to step on it. Try. I mean, it is sturdy, but very not no, really sturdy. I could not. Step That's on scary. It. That I'm sorry. That is very scary. Yep. Don't like that. I, it moved even when I stepped on it. Yep. So that's one dislike. Andrea, do you have a number two? I, I do. Okay. Talk to me. Although I love the quality of the cabinets, I don't. I don't like this color in here. Okay. It's, it's uh, different. It's it is different. It's, it's kind of like people like that kind of look. Uh -huh. But to me, it just it doesn't go. It just doesn't, you just don't like the feng shui. No, I don't like the feng shui at all. Okay, so that's <laughs> two dislikes. Sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, that that's what that's the show my is. Dislike. I mean, it's no, and nobody can take that away from you. So that's two. And then three, my third dislike, what is? I mean, why is it always hard to find dislikes? I mean, I have a third dislike Oh, you do? Too. Well, talk to me. Okay, so this is a Tiffin, and I don't know, it just, is this an entry-level diesel pusher? Well, it is, oh, yes. Okay. The balances. You're not a fan of the balances? No, not at all. Okay. The balances in the cabinetry, it just looks very old to me. Yep, yep, I get it. I'm sorry, everybody. No, it's not your <laughs> Let fault. Let me know what you think. Let us know. Andrea might be wrong. Comment below. Let us know if you think Andrea is wrong, or... Let us know if you think she's right. Here's what I will say. When we did do the Tiffin Allegro bus, it was we way loved different, it, yeah. Right? And it's just different levels and different strokes for different folks, and I like it. We will be doing a Tiffin Phaeton later today, so you guys will see that in a few days. But that's it, Andrea. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, feel free to call me, text me, send me an email. It is Max RV Reviews at gmail.com. 301-906-0962 that's my personal cell or go online to mattsrvreviews.com where you can buy your official Matt's RV review sticker bing also there is a contact me page below you want to buy this unit please contact me i will get you in contact with somebody from general rv on my team to help make sure you get the best price in america bam, 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 bam. the matt price andre do you have anything you want to say yes Hey everybody, thanks so much everybody for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Tiffin does read the comments, so we appreciate everybody's feedback. Uh, if you haven't got a chance to join our club, our Facebook Club Art Deco, bing. bing! Go ahead and join that. It's a great way for us to communicate with each other and for you guys also to talk to each other. I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. Thanks awesome. for watching. Thanks so much for watching, Andrea. We'll see you next time!